Welcome back to True Story with John Gibson. Today we have Chris Bird. Chris is a two-time heavyweight champion of the world, uh, silver medalist in the Olympics, uh, all-around positive, inspiring human being. Uh, Chris, thank you so much for joining me. Hey, thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. Um, no, thank you. Uh, I was talking to Chris a little offline, and I was just sharing with him that, that he's been inspiring me for, for a long, long time. And I can't believe it, but uh, my first question has nothing to do with boxing. <laughs> and, and really, uh, I follow you today a lot because uh, I find myself following you today to get a lot of nutrition advice and, and fitness tips, which is just amazing. So with that as some, some context and background, can you kind of share a little bit about like present day what led you to your, your vegan lifestyle, that change and, and like how you feel, man, because you look awesome. Oh, I feel great. I mean, my change was because I was in chronic pain for 11 and a half years. Mm. And I had, a, I had a hip replacement. I needed my other hip replaced. I needed both my shoulders replaced, but I had nerve damage, neuropathy in my foot, which mm. was the worst. Mm. So it made me look at the way I, I, I was eating big mm -hmm. time. I looked at my diet. I started studying food massively i mean because mm -hmm. they had i went to all these doctors and nobody knew anything and when i started studying the food and what they put in f certain foods my goodness mm -hmm. it, and my body is very sensitive so mm -hmm. going through all that i ch i started changing my diet i eliminated one thing at a time mm -hmm. and then it just slowly but surely trickled into not ba barely eating hardly you know i eat everything that's electric to the body, mm -hmm. trying to eat things that's natural. I mean, we, we're so far removed from our original food. Mm -hmm. it, it's crazy. So I'm trying mm -hmm. to get something remotely close to that to keep my body healthy. Mm -hmm. So that, that's my major change. I'll never go back. Wow. I'll never go back. I feel wow. too good. I'm 50 years old. And I feel like I'm I can't put an age on it. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, you look amazing. And, it, and it's crazy because uh, it, I'm sure everyone watching is going to be really familiar. But for those who aren't, you know, you were uh, you were a heavyweight boxer, but it, you were kind of undersized. And, and you certainly fought the biggest of the big from the Klitschko's, yeah. uh, you know, and even the big hitters, David Tua. I mean, just guys that are just so scary. <laughs> um, you know, yes. I mean, so with that, to know that, like, here you are in your 50s and you have this rejuvenation and you kind of attribute that to your diet is amazing. I mean, I'll say this really quick. You motivated me to do a green drink every morning. I, <laughs> wow. I do that because of you. Totally your influence. Yeah, uh, wow. which is cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's inspiring. So um, I, I guess, you know, you know, do you feel like maybe it's a silly question, but um, do you feel like this sort of uh, regimen of nutrition and stuff would have benefited you maybe when you were competitive? Like, do you feel like you still could have been really? Wow. Yeah. I would have been that much better. I fought at heavyweight. I wasn't a heavyweight. Yeah. I, was a middle, I was a middleweight in the Olympics. I won an Olympic silver medal at middleweight. Right. I didn't get signed. So out of depression, I'm literally, I was cutting grass <laughs> with my brother. And I, I'm like, what is happening to my career? I mean, I, wow. I, I can't even get started. And, and then when I finally got started with an with independent promoter that we didn't know, we, oh. he said he could help us out. We didn't get paid our first fight. I didn't get paid my second fight. Wow. So I'm sitting there. Nobody want me. I'm an Olympic silver medalist and nobody want me. I'm, I'm thinking this can't be true. So mm. I'm going to go to heavyweight to shock the world. I'm going to have yeah. everybody. They, they don't really care about me now. So when they see me at heavyweight, they go, wow, what he's going to get killed. Mm. But I made my way through heavyweight. So the first time they said I was too small. Mm -hmm. This time they say I'm too old mm. and I'm going to shock the world again. I love it. Is this a comeback? Are you going to do it? Oh, come back. I'm back. You've been. Yeah. I I'm, hey, I'm, I'm training. I'm back. Yeah. Yeah. It's wonderful to, to hear that, too, because I mean, they just recently made the announcement. or I read the announcement of Tyson Holyfield and I thought of you immediately. I go, all right, Holyfield, he's back in the game. And yeah. that's what I would love to see. I mean, that would be amazing. Yeah, yeah uh, but so inspiring. I'm, I'm coming back at middleweight. Like, yeah, yeah. Those are heavyweights, and I'm, I'm going back to my original weight class. I want to fight the young guys. 
Okay. Like I want to, I want to win a world title. Okay. I didn't get my chance back in 1992 after Olympics. Mm-hmm. Now it's my chance. I feel yeah. great and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to be the best in the world. I love it. I love That's it. My I, goal. Be- I, I, I believe in you. You have all the faith in that rapid fire coming back. Yes, it's coming back. I believe back. it. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, again, and I follow you. So certainly you've been completely regimented, your workouts, your training. I follow you so closely. You're so diligent yeah. about that. And and I, I think it's so impressive too that um, in a lot of ways, I mean, again, uh, your personality is unique and always you've always been so positive, but, but you've right. never left the game either. And it's really impressive to me that um, amongst maybe your peers, um, I feel like you're really sharp. There's been like no metal that cl- like you're still there. You're still so sharp, yeah. and 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 I feel like that is such an advantage uh, to come back into the game with the knowledge you've acquired and the experience you have. It'd be pretty dangerous. Yes, it is. I mean, I I feel amazing. I can't believe. Well, I can't believe now, mm. but I, I I couldn't believe when I first started training. I couldn't raise my arms. Wow, I, my, I could barely walk. I mean, my hips were killing me mm-hmm. and and my foot was just out of control. Mm-hmm. But I had to, I had to get up and start moving. Yeah. I was just sitting because I was scared the pain would get worse. Right. And once I started moving, changing my diet, started mm-hmm. thinking differently, mm-hmm. stop thinking about the pain and start thinking about recovering. Yes. How are you going to recover? Right. And then as I'm recovering and, and thinking in a positive note, instead of always down and in a negative Mm -hmm. um, energy, Mm -hmm. it changed everything. I mean, Mm -hmm. everything. I'm like, I'm so blessed. I'm so grateful for this chance and this opportunity. Yeah, It it, kind of brings tears to my eyes, but I'm just so happy. This is a new lease for life, on life for me, the second Mm -hmm. chance. Mm -hmm. I mean, big time coming back from chronic pain. Mm -hmm. My thing is I'm out of pain. I want to inspire the world until I die. Yes, sir. inspire and be inspired. I mean, yes, the sir. same thing. We're all humans. Yeah, I love everybody, and I hate mm-hmm. like how the country is every four years when mm-hmm. president stuff and people fighting. Yeah. Now let's get along. This U.S. Yeah. I represented the U.S. in the Olympics. Yes, sir. Proudest moment of my life wearing my Olympic sweatsuit, which was robed in the flag. You can't get any better. And this is Olympics and. And you represent your country at the highest level. Mm-hmm. And I come back home and you, we, all, we have all this fighting and division and, you know, all this craziness. Come on, people. Let's get it together. Let's just, mm-hmm. we live one time. Right. One time. Right. Let's live the most enjoyable life ever. And that's for everybody. Right. Everybody should live the best life they should live. You could ever live. So that's my whole thing. 50 years, man. I'm 50 years old. Mm-hmm. Another 50 years, I'd be a hundred. Mm-hmm. The first 50 came so fast. I'm thinking, <laughs> what? This is crazy. I can't believe I'm 50. Right. So in, enjoy your life. Sure. That's what I say to myself. You got, you got, I still look at, I got a lot of time left on this planet. Of course. I, I'm going to enjoy every second. I don't mm-hmm. care in boxing and business and mm-hmm. just in relationships. Sure. Make it enjoyable. So, yeah. and then make everybody around you happy also. I yes. Mean, that's yeah. just great energy. And, yeah. and I love it. You said it. I mean, you said it all. I agree in so many, with all of that, but so much is like hit me in my heart. <laughs> it really resonated <laughs> with me because I agree, man, we are human beings. We are all human beings. And we, mm-hmm. we just think once, as far as we know, we do this once and why not choose every day to make it easy on ourselves and those around us and just be positive. And yep. I understand life is hard and we all are going through battles. We don't maybe know necessarily, you know, so yes. if we lead with that, you know, and that in mind and some kindness in our heart, we're all in it together, you know? It's- hey, that's how I look at it. You're right. I love that. We're all in it together, True. man. If you if you're around people and you and people help you out, I haven't met uh, hardly anybody that ab- w- would not help me in yeah. some way. If okay. I go up and ask them, they would. Oh, oh, you need this, or you? I help you do this. That's just us as humans, and and who you really attract. If you're kind, you attract kindness. You sure. know, 
you're happy, you attract happiness. Mm -hmm. That's think that way if you think in those terms. And I know life can can be hard, mm -hmm. can be hard. Mm -hmm. It's all the all about how you look at every situation. Mm -hmm. If you can look at the good in every situation and fight it and grab it, it could be the worst situation ever. And be like, okay, it was meant to happen for this, this, and this in order for me to get here. Yeah. So that's how I look at life. I mean, mm -hmm. you look at even my my mom dying. Mm -hmm. I five six years ago, you know, I'm hurt and I'm mm -hmm. thinking, well, everybody's gonna have to go. We were born to die. Yeah. It was her time and she would want me to move on and her spirit still lives and, mm -hmm. and she still talks to me. The downloads yeah. still come and I'm like, mm, mm -hmm. it's better now than dang ever, ever. Cause I'm getting all these downloads from her. Like, okay. Even when I came back to boxing, heal mm -hmm. up, whatever you put your mind to Chris, this is what my mom always told me. Mm -hmm. And she told me this in depth and just envisioning her talking to her. Whatever you put your mind to, Chris, you can do. Whatever you put your mind to, you can do. Mm -hmm. Just remember that. Because I was contemplating on coming back boxing, and I needed my mom's she, opinion. She knew. And that's what, and that's what came to me. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's not a yes or no. If you put your mind to it, you yeah. can do it. If you don't, don't do it. Yes, absolutely. Put my no, mind to it. Yeah, that's so beautiful. What, what um, I mean... What led you to this uh, just life experience or is it your faith or books you read? I mean, what gave you this, uh, such a, a great influence in this outlook? Honestly, honestly, and this is a true story. Mm -hmm. I was in Yuma, Arizona, uh, 2017 with, um, a former, my cousin, he's former heavyweight champion, Layman Brewster. Yeah. Was, yeah. Yes. We oh, I remember he, he heard his eye, right? Yes. Yes. yes yeah. Yeah. Yep, he heard his eye. And we were in Yuma, Arizona. It was um, Native American Health Month. And so we were there speaking to the to the Native Americans on the wow. on their reservation. Wow. So one one of the ladies gave me, she knew I was in chronic pain. So she said, Can I put this oil on? I said, Okay. <laughs> yes, anything that helps. Sure. She went, she went across a certain part of my foot and I lost it for like, it seemed like it was two hours. Mm. I was speaking in all kinds of languages. I was just talking, going crazy. Mm. I had to, I had an experience. And after that experience, I was so shaken for like seven days. Lehman Brewster, he was right there watching. He was like, <laughs> wow. And after that, it really changed me. Wow. Like it changed the way I, I looked at everything around me. Wow. And started appreciating my life that much more mm. take care of your body take yeah. care of your take mm -hmm. care of everything in your life yeah you yeah. live one time right. the time is going by fast if you look at time think about it 2020 is gone i, I, I waited my whole life for 2020 that's why i'm gonna turn 50 yeah i'm about to be 51 in a couple of months <laughs> I'm a, i just turned 50 we missed so, it yeah man look yeah. at that i mean time just go by so fast and we're so busy doing stuff and, mm -hmm. and we forget time yeah. what are you doing with your time I mean, it's going by fast so are you getting what you want to get out of life it's only one mm -hmm. get to the highest level forget all this worrying hey create what you want to create in your life yeah and that's that's my thing to inspire people to create it's your one life just yes. realize it's going by time is going by so fast mm -hmm enjoy your life get yeah. everything out of life so when you go on your when you're on your deathbed you're like man i live the most exciting right. most exhilarating most you know precious life mm -hmm. ever i treated my body right i felt good i, I wasn't in a nursing home at 55 right. 60 really Just life is up. over right no right. i'm here and i'm like come on people let's get our health back right let's and you have get our life back yeah, I mean, you've had significant injuries, hip replacements, shoulders. Like, if you could say it, man, <laughs> like that, I mean, that means something. Heck yeah. Yes, I was messed up. But, you know, it's, it, it's part of life. It, it was my learned experience for the 11 and a half years. I learned a lot. Sure. Because when, when you're in chronic pain, you need a distraction. I mm -hmm. mean, something. So I mm -hmm. started just reading books, studying, looking at, listen to lectures, anything to concentrate on something else but the pain. 
Mm. And and then it, it it helped me. I mean, I, I smoked a lot of cannabis because yeah. I never smoked cannabis before in my life. Yeah. I never did any kind of drug, so-called they call it drugs. Right. And then I started understanding and studying cannabis. And I'm like, mm, yeah. this heal, it's a natural plant. When mm-hmm. it's come from the natural, the natural way to do it, the natural form, not chemicals and all this stuff mm-hmm. they put in it to make it whatever. So I'm just trying to be a healthy. Yeah. live a natural clean life mm-hmm. connect to the universe and just live live the best ever absolutely you know you you just touched on that and you again I, i'm a big I'm a follower of yours man so you, you had done a post recently about cbd and it took out this huge inflammation and i don't know if that was your foot or somebody else's foot yeah i saw that and, and, was, and my foot and my foot and my am- foot amazing that was amazing um and again all natural organic like these are things that the earth gave us i, th- I think that's awesome. yes mm-hmm. that's that's it and, and that's how i live my life mm. you would think i was crazy man you never eat yeah. I, I eat to get by i don't mm. eat to get full i don't eat to be a glutton no mm-hmm. to get by use it i use my food as energy and it right. is it gives me a lot of energy i get by i'm gonna overindulge and eat the and i never eat the wrong things ever mm-hmm. for my for my body not yes. somebody else but for my body right. i know how my body is so it may not work for your body but find mm-hmm. out what works if you got health problems anybody out there got health problems get your life back do yeah. your own research yeah. i mean i went to a lot of doctors and i'm not I'm not um, discrediting doctors, mm-hmm. you know, but they should have a ranking system, just yeah. like in yeah. boxing. <laughs> yeah. You go to the doctor, well, how many people got healed under this doctor? Sure. Not by prescription drugs, by being healed. Because right. the prescription drugs, okay, they help a lot of people. But really, you got to be mm. on prescription drugs the rest of your Think about it. The yeah. rest of your life, you need a pill to help you heal. To help you just live, not Function. heal, live. Yeah. No, we could do that ourselves. Right. We can. We don't need a. We don't need all these pills and stuff. Mm-hmm. Let's do it ourselves. Let's do our own research mm-hmm. on our own body. Right. And get your life back. Get right. your health back. Is everything? Health is first. Health is everything. Yeah. Health. Yes. If you're healthy, you happy all the time. Yes. You're healthy. Yes. You know? Yes. Yeah. I feel like you, have, and it, man, it's, it's attractive. It's, it's magnetic, like your energy. It's, it's so true and it's organic. Let's so get it. Awesome. Oh, man, let's go. Yeah. It's amazing. Feel great, man. Yeah. It's fantastic. So, so yeah, that's, so I guess uh, transitioning a little, and maybe this is kind of a crazy question, but if there were no, if you had never found boxing, I feel like you're still an artist. You're someone that would have to express something. Do you paint or draw or do you do anything else? Else, Music? Is there something else that... Uh, I like dancing. Dancing. Oh, I knew there had dancing. to be some expression here. Like I love dancing. Like how I, I started house dancing. My foot was burning so bad, but I had to, I had to start being active. And when I was yeah. amateur, uh, one of my boxing friends, Shannon Briggs, he... Man, another great guy. Yeah. That's my guy. He taught me how to house dance. So I, I started picking it back up. I'm like, wow. okay, let me start doing something. I just, I like just being out and about doing whatever, happy. Mm-hmm. Let's get it, man. I'm yeah, just, let's like, get it. <laughs> yeah. I love it. That's fantastic. So um, I, we're kind of coming up on time, but um, I, I guess, so before I let you go though, we got to touch on some of the, the, the boxing highlight stuff. Um, so hey, yeah. You fought the who's who, but I, and I'm sure I know you've heard this question before, but um, is there, is there maybe not the big fights the, and maybe it is the glitch goes and stuff, but is there a fight that's just really special to you because you went into it with maybe you were injured or some kind of adversity we didn't know about as a fan and you pulled that sucker out and, and it just, you realized something of that self-realization. I, I just know I've had those experiences that there's many battles along the way that no one knew about my opponent did. I didn't tell my wife because I, I just didn't go there. And anyway, those mean the most to me, maybe not necessarily the, the, I don't know. So do, do you have a similar experience like that? Oh man, many fights. Uh, I, I went into fights and hmm, a similar experience. It's not a great, like a, a great ending. If, if I know everyone is looking for like a great ending, like you have a certain experience, you come out. But to me, it was a, 
I lost my first professional fight. It was a great learning experience. Mm -hmm. I had a separated rib 15 days before the fight. I'm fighting. I weighed 208 pounds. I'm fighting Ika Bayabuchi, who weighed 244 pounds. Huge. Yes. Long, and too. I'm, yes. And I'm <laughs> and I'm so worried about, you know, you 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 not worried. I'm not worried about my opponent. I'm worried about the injury. Mm. So you go into a fight with an injury and you thinking one thing and you get hit with something else that didn't even, I got hit under the chin instead of the rib, but I'm thinking about the rib the whole time, like trying to cover right, it up. Right, right. Oh, so you like, uh, that, it hurts. Now I went to a heavyweight title fight. I had a cut, literally a cut two weeks before the fight, oh, another no. one. I got cut. So I was, the last week I sparred with a, a hockey mask on. <laughs> A hockey match, <laughs> yeah. But I didn't want to pull out of the fight at all because yeah. it's a world title fight. And I'm thinking, man, should I pull out? No, I'm a fight. Sure enough, by the third round, boom, busted mm. open, blood coming down, and I a grueling twelve round fight. Mm -hmm. I weighed two fourteen on a Thursday, bloated. My opponent weighed two seventy. Oh so my gosh! On a Thursday, we weighed in. We fought on Saturday, so. It, it was crazy because this is the only time where my, my parents were in my corner. Only time when my father looked as he was going through the ropes to get out of the ring, he looked back at my opponent and then he looked at me like, you got to be crazy. Who you <laughs> oh, no. You <laughs> I'm thinking, really? Come on, dad. <laughs> Come on, pop. You, this is one fight. You name the confidence. <laughs> You know, that leads me to another question. And thank you for sharing that. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, it, did you come from a, a boxing family? Because your cousin I'm familiar with too. But was that something you grew up with? Did, like your parents and everything? Oh, yeah. Okay. Man, my father was a boxer. He had a gym. I was in 1992 Olympics. My father was the head coach of the team. Oh, that year? I didn't realize that. So yeah. I knew he was in your corner and... A couple family members too. Yeah, my brother, my mother. My yeah, mother your mother. My I wanted. To, yeah, I remember. Wow, I did not realize he was the coach though. Whoa. Yep. Okay. Yeah, wow. So I come from a rich boxing mm -hmm. background. Like uh, you probably heard of Floyd Mayweather. Sure. His sure. family come from a box. He's from Michigan, from right. Grand Rapids, and I'm from Flint, Michigan. So right. it's like two hours away. The Floyd, the Mayweather family on that side of the state, and the Bird family on this side of the state, as far as families boxing, mm -hmm. and we both Olympians, mm -hmm. world champions, yeah, you know, and coming from a family of, of boxers. You know, I would have loved to, and maybe you fought. Did you ever fight Roger Mayweather? That would have been amazing. Yeah, my brother fought him. My brother fought him, but I never fought. Right now, I'm, I'm. Uh, everybody's coming back and I'm coming back at middleweight. So yeah. all these guys, Oscar De La Hoya, he's, he won a gold medal. He's on my Olympic oh, team. Yeah. And I want to see. You fought him, fight. didn't you? You didn't you fight Oscar? No, I never fought Oscar. Ever? Oh, this is the time. This is the time. Yeah. This Boy, is it. Mayweather, he's one, like 160. Mm. I'm 160. Okay. That's middleweight. We could all get it. Yeah. Like, nobody want to fight the old man. Nobody want to fight the heavyweight champion. They're looking at mm -hmm. me like, no, this is unusual. You coming down from heavyweight to middleweight. Yeah. Usually you go from middleweight to heavyweight. Oh, sure. After retirement. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you said it though, and, and it's 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 so true. You were you're you were not a natural heavyweight. You had no. to put the weight on and, and you put body fat on with the mass too. I mean, a you're lot. ripped now. Like you you're in amazing shape now, you know. Yes. So it, it, you know, it's just it's unfortunate that that's what you had to do for your opportunity, but yeah. It's a testament to your talent because you you beat a lot of the who's who in that division yeah. um, with a, with seemingly disadvantages. They had reach, they had height, they had weight, uh, power, power. Oh power. my goodness! When you fought David Tua, I I, sh I was terrified for you. I'm Chris Bird's fan. I'm sitting at home and I was literally I couldn't eat popcorn. I was so nervous. I just couldn't even pick it up because I was so afraid he would just wallop. You know. Uh, hey, I was sitting next to you watching the fight. <laughs> Popcorn scared too. <laughs> Man, you, your your career was just is so inspiring. It's not over. This is the time for sure. This is yes. It. 
I, I watched there? was it the Thriller event recently and and Oscar oh. it's the unnamed opponent man so I say we start the campaign now and rally Chris Bird let's get it done oh yeah see I I put my name in the head of all these guys yeah and and the thing is with me I fought at heavyweight and when I was at heavyweight I was willing to fight everybody right. every I didn't care. The same in middleweight. So nobody can say when they cut, bring up a fight, well, Chris turned it down. I don't turn down fights. Right. I'll fight anybody. Right. Anybody in middleweight, any of the young guys want to get it, they can get it. I'm going to have fun doing it. I don't hate none of the guys. Yeah. I wish it well, but they're not going to beat They're not going to beat me. No. You're not. No. And they, I'm it, that good. Man, if they're hearing this, guys, be smart. This is what a once what an amazing opportunity right now to fight a two-time heavyweight champion. If you're a middleweight out there, a young guy, what an amazing opportunity. Yeah. To, oh, uh, man. I would jump on this. Uh, uh, oh man, I'm a grandpa. <laughs> I got two grandkids. Let me think that. Hey, 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 I, I remember uh was it George Foreman and um oh my goodness. Michael Moore. Yes. Yes, when he came back and that, and he, he had a good run, man. And he made it, of course, at heavyweight, but still, this this can be done. This can certainly has been done. Oh, oh, this is this is history. Yeah, I'm the former two time heavyweight I champion. Yeah, I know. Looking for a middleweight title. Oh my goodness! <laughs> looking man. for, I'm looking for who gonna fight me. And then when I get to that stage, it's gonna be so much fun. Yeah, because you know I'm, I'm gonna have my fights to try to. I'm not going to go right off the bat fighting for the world title. Sure. Actually, I want to have a career. I, I feel like I could fight until I'm 60. Wow. That's how yeah. good I feel. I love that you feel that great. I mean, I have no doubt yeah. the motivation and the perseverance and the dedication. There's no doubt you can. <laughs> I believe you. You believe yeah. it, you can. Yes. I'm going to show it, though. I'm going yeah. to show and prove yeah. that I is in his 50s, not 50, 50s. Yeah, can win a world title and be the best in boxing, yeah. the best in sports. Yeah, we can still do it. Yeah, you know, in, in anything, in anything. This is just sports, but it's right. life. Right, you could do anything in your one life. Get mm -hmm. to it. Yeah, just put your mind to it and get to it, and then you'll start attracting all kind of stuff if yeah. you're really serious about it. Yeah. So, I think you know, in this one life, let's. Let's do the best. Let's treat everybody good. Everybody live a great life. So you know when you die, I did I bought out at the highest level in my mm -hmm. life. I did everything I wanted to do. Right. I'm so excited, man. I, I you know, I'm, words can't even express it. I'm grateful. Right. I'm just grateful for every day I wake up now, out of pain. I can train. Right. My mind is clear. I'm I'm just happy. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. just excited. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm sorry. I keep going on. I'm sorry. No, it's wonderful. It's beautiful. And it's infectious, man. Uh, it's, no. it's great. Um, where can people reach out to you if that, you know, to, to root you on, if they have questions, anything, do you uh, prefer them to reach out to uh, Instagram, Facebook, your website, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, you know, Twitter. Chris underscore bird underscore boxing. Mm -hmm. that's that's instagram and and my facebook is mm -hmm. is chris bird boxing so mm -hmm. yeah hit me up yeah hit me up anytime oh, and one last thing for my viewers check out uh, a lot of the episodes of his uh is it bird's eye view podcast Bur bird's eye view yeah you have some awesome ones so i direct yeah. everybody go there and take your time man he's got some great content really good yeah stuff. yeah thanks a lot man of course I, yeah I, I that. Uh, yes yeah, was, I'm so excited. Thank you very much for having me on. I appreciate it. Again. Absolutely. My pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you again. This is John Gibson. True story. Today's guest, Chris Bird. Yes. Thanks, John. Yep.